All right. Where is that blo uh, balloon? So there's three of them. Uh, you, you, you guys are jokes. Get out. Hey, buddy, it's Crazy Twenty Four, and welcome back to some more Plants vs Zombies. In the last episode, we took care of Survival Fog, and it was very annoying. I mean, like, especially the beginning. Simply because, well, it was going very slow, and also there was a very, very annoying ambulance um, that happened to pass by. Um, but hopefully, it was an all right of an episode. In this episode, though, we will be taking care of Survival Roof, and I have a feeling this one's gonna go by much better than Survival Fog. Just because it's the daytime level and it's the roof level, and I love, love the roof level so much. Um, so let's do that, and, uh, get a twin sunflower going. I'll get some catapult zombies, because I kinda need them. Um... I have an idea. I might do the same thing I did for the pool level and just like at the start just get a bunch of like potato mines and uh, squashes out before I should get any catapults and just focus my entire arsenal on melon bolts. That's gonna be my plan. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I really hope it works. And you know what? I want to as much as I want to save money, I really do. But I want you guys to actually see the winter melon. So I'm going to purchase that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this one But I'll leave it for now, but I might have it for like later on in this uh, I might as well go. Oh, let's do a cherry bomb. Just just have him in reserve. All right, let's do it Nice, so I've already I've already showed off like basically all of the uh, special plants already the only two that I have not shown off yet, oh, three, sorry, are the winter melon, which I just purchased, and um, the gold magnet, and uh, the final one, which is the cob cannon. But we will be seeing that much later on. Um, possibly in Survival Endless. Well, I don't know, I don't know, or maybe Survival, I probably I might just do it in Survival Day Hard. Yeah, just to, get, just to like show it off. And there's also one more. There's uh, there's one that cost. If you saw in the shop, uh, you know what? I did not want to put him here. Uh, there's one that cost thirty thousand sun, or sorry, about thirty thousand dollars, and that one is uh, labeled as the imitator. Imitators are really cool. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what they do right now, but when I get the chance, I definitely will show it off. Hundred percent. Also, why do you have to go to the same row? That's so annoying. So freaking annoying. Just die, please. I'll use a squash just to make it go by faster, because I don't know. I keep forgetting like how long it takes for a potato mine to actually be uh, to uh, char you know come out of the ground. Let's get one more sunflower going, and then we'll just like focus on umbrella leaves and also twin sunflowers. Gosh, I forgot how good this song was. I love this song. Now the question is, do I like this one more or the um? Or the pool level more, like when it comes to its music. I don't know, I, both are fantastic, but I can't say, I really can't say, it's really difficult for me. I'll get an umbrella leaf, I really need umbrella leaves, especially since this level is going to have bungee zombies, and bungee zombies are very, very annoying to deal with. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Uh, let's do one right here and one right here, yeah. Luckily I had both charged up, which was really good. Boom, 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 ba -da boom, boom, boom. Okay. Still waiting for that twin sunflower to charge. I'm still gonna like focus on just getting a bunch of sun so I can have enough for like a lot of melon pulps because melon pulps are gonna be super useful for this. Let me just tell you that right now. They're gonna be very, very useful. Uh, this one's almost charged, which is really good. Um, okay, come on. I'll get a, yeah, one right there, one right there. Perfect. I almost put him right there. That would have been big mistake. Very big mistake. Maybe I should get melon pulps out right now. Just like have them. I, I, I'll do it. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. Just to be safe. And at some point, I definitely want to like. Um, oh, actually, that was perfect placing too. Wow. At some point, I definitely want to um, get out like pumpkins. Just to, like have good defense uh, for my um, for my arsenal. Uh, I guess I'll get one going for- yeah, let's do that, and do that. Okay, perfect. Just to save up a little more sun while I- while I actually, uh, try to get some more for the, um, 
uh, melon pods. Oh, perfect. You're charged. Hmm. This is, I am a little bit of a pickle, aren't I? You know what, just put him right there, yeah. Although I don't know what to do for this guy. I mean, I think by the time he gets there, uh, the squash is going to be charged up, so I think we should be fine. Dead, okay. Let's do that, and let's do that, okay. That should work. Because he's definitely gonna die from that, he's gonna die from that. The only problem is that the first uh, wave is about to start, which worries me immensely. Oh boy, I don't know how this is gonna go at all. I'll get a melon pulled out, just to be safe. Wow, he is slow. I mean, like, is that, isn't that good though? I think it's pretty good. I think it's good that he's slow. That's just probably me. <laughs> uh, Twin Sunflower, get the more, I need more sun. I really need more sun. The more sun, the better. Now, sadly, I can't have two full uh, columns of sunflowers just because two of those sunflower placements are gonna be taken up by umbrella leaves, but hopefully it works. I, I don't know how it will. Okay, well, Frig, thanks for that. <laughs> Can he take care of this? You know what, he is go- uh, he needs a little help. Let's just do this, just to be safe. Alright, perfect. Do this. He's definitely gonna eat the, the pot, but like, he should be dead soon. One more should do it. There we go, perfect, okay. Didn't go terrible, it was, I was, it was a little slow on like sun production, but should be good for now. Uh, same amount of, same zo kind of zombie, which is actually really nice, I deeply appreciate that. Mm, let's do... Definitely those, I'll get melon pulse, squash, nope, not, not you. Squash, pumpkin, cherry bomb, umbrella leaf. Tall nuts. And shall I try a winter melon? Let's have him in reserve. Okay, I'm gonna have him in reserve just to be safe. I'm not gonna pull one out just yet because I want to get as many melon. I want to get like all the melon pulls out for. Mm, excuse me first, before I think about even getting out winter melons. Uh, should I pull one out now? I might as well. Yeah, let's do like right there. Okay, now I definitely need to get at least like two more um, umbrella leaves uh, because those are gonna be incredibly nice to have. There's gonna be one right here, one right here because just because it's like bungee zombies and like the zombies that just come out of nowhere from the sky, uh, those definitely need to be taken care of. <laughs> so let's do that, okay. I'm getting a lot of melon pulls out already, which is really good. I'm not gonna lie, that's fantastic. Um, let's do that. Get two more twin sunflowers, and then we should be set on s on sunflowers. On sun, can't really say, but I mean, like that just depends on how the level goes at that point. Need more sun for I. I always wonder why is a winter melon less sun than the melon pole. That's always I, I've always wondered that. It's very strange, and I've I've researched it, and the winter melon does do more damage than the melon pole. So overall. It is a better plant. The only downside to it is that it charges super slow. That's the, literally the only downside to the melon pulse. If it charged the exact same speed as the win, as no, it's a, that's the only downside of the winter melon. If it charged the exact same speed that the melon pulse did, it would be a fantastic plant. It would be a literal. It would be crazy. It would be an insane plant. To just like have. Okay, wave time. Let's do it. Wave check. <laughs> I almost put a melon pole there. That would have been terrible. Uh, let's get the let's get the umbrella leaves out already. Just like kind of just have them. Man, this this setup is gonna be insane. It really is. I can just tell. Uh, let's get one right here. Sure. I think I'm just gonna have like a full column of um of tall nuts in the front. Yeah, you thought you were getting through. Come on, don't, you're, you're a joke. <laughs> I need to sound off rude, but... 
Okay, what we got next? Football zombies. Okay, shouldn't be too bad. Just because it's melon pults. And you know how melon pults are. They're, they're kind of crazy. So, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, squash, cherry bomb, tall nut, pumpkin. Do I need any more umbrella leaves? I don't. Okay, so I, can, I have uh, room for another. Gold magnets are not going to be useful at all. They, they're they not really use, that useful of a plant. The, the magnet rooms are definitely more useful. Gold magnets are just for... Um, as she said, it collects coins and diamonds for you. It's it, like it sounds good, which it is in some cases, but definitely not all. Yeah, in most situations, the magnet room is not that useful. So I'm not going to show it off just yet. I do have uh, a way to show it off, definitely. Um, I guess one more could be jalapeno. You know what? Just screw it. Let's do jalapeno. Get it, get him to shine a little bit. I don't know why, but something tells me that there's going to be, um, that at some point in this, there's going to be gargantuars. But even then, it doesn't sound like something survive, just a regular survival roof level would have. Survival, uh, roof hard. Now that for sure is going to have gargantuars. That's, there's no doubt about it, but just a regular survival roof. I kind of, I kind of don't see that as happening. Yeah. So I only, yep, I already have all my melon pulls out. Very nice. You know what? I might as well get winter melons out. They're, be, they're gonna be very nice to just have. So, and also I should really get. You know what? Before I do that, so let me get tall nuts out. Because tall nuts are gonna be extremely useful. Also, good placing on a tall nut, Daniel. Good placing indeed. Get some more um, flower pots out. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Should I. I mean, like, I might as well. So, winter melons are really cool. As you can tell, they're winter melons. When they, when they uh, hit a zombie, they freeze like a whole, like, they freeze like a, an air, a specific, like, area of zombie. So, that's going to hit that guy, but it's also going to freeze that guy. So, it has radius to it. It's kind of like the winter, it's kind of like the melon pulse. How it's able to, like, hit more, like, damage multiple zombies, even though it's only targeting one zombie. It's really cool. That's why I've always been a big fan of the winter melon. Also, I'd really like for just kill, hit that guy, kill, kill that guy. Oh, that was close as heck. My gosh, that was scary. I should have put a pumpkin out. Uh, I, even then, I didn't even have a flower pot charge, so I couldn't really do that. You know, speaking of pumpkins, I should probably get them out just to be safe. Hey, get out of here! You thought. You thought. Okay, that actually went by really good. Okay, let's get some more tallnuts, because I need tallnuts immensely. Okay, he, they're, he, they're gonna take care of him. Okay, nice. Um, I need two more tallnuts, and then I should be set on tallnuts. I'm just gonna cover some more, pump some more plants with pumpkins. So I have two flags left, left to complete. Friggin' balloon zombies. Why? Why are there balloon zombies? In a roof level. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I have I have a plan. I have a plan. Definitely need these guys. Okay, winter melons. Get you two. I'll just have a blover. Just in case, I'll just have a blover. And then I'll have who else could I have? Because I mean like I don't need any twins any more twins flower sunflowers, um, umbrella leaves or melon bolts. So I mean, I should just have them in reserve, in case one of them get eaten. Yeah, you know, I'll do that. Let's do it. Gosh, why when, why freaking balloon zombies? I hate those guys. Those guys suck. <laughs> Let's do that. So, blowers, I'm definitely just gonna save for when the balloon zombies just all of a sudden uh, get here. I'll be like, no, sir, you are dying oh, right now. <laughs> Gosh, I hate, I hate balloon zombies. Like, if you have cacti, if you have the cactus plants in your arsenal, at least like one in every, uh, at least like one in every row, then you should be fine. But like, in this kind of scenario, I don't go for cactus plant, for the cactus plants. I go for catapult zombie, uh, catapult um, uh, plants. So, I mean like, I, mean, I guess you could do, um, cactuses here, but th I did, they don't really seem too useful unless you're actually fighting against uh, balloon zombies, which you, which I am going to be, uh, sadly. But 
let's see how this goes. Heck, maybe I won't even need the blover. Maybe the melon pulse are just gonna be like super powerful and just destroy them. It's a possibility. I'm not saying it's for sure gonna happen, but it's definitely a possibility. Let's get you out there. Oh, let's see how this goes. I'll have the I'll have this pot out just in case. Just in case. Let's see. Okay, so now we know the melon, the uh, catapult zombies don't even not catapult zombies. The catapult plants don't even go after or don't even hit the balloon zombies. Okay, we'll see. Now that's problematic. That is definitely problematic. But I don't think it should be ba that bad. Let's see what what uh, guys we have this time. Balloon zombies again. Okay, Jack in the Box shouldn't be too terrible. Hey, Buckethead, nice of you to join for the final flag. Um, I just do this. Yeah, I did that. Nope, <laughs> don't want those. Go th those two, and then one more. Who did I have last time? Or what did I have last time? Sorry. I'm missing something. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, why am I doing tall nuts? Eh, I'll just have it in case. Oh yeah, blow for right. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I think this will work. Hopefully. No ladder zombies, which I'm actually really surprised about, but I'm really glad that there aren't la any ladder zombies here. Because I hate ladder zombies immensely. They suck. I'm thinking about what to do. I mean, I definitely want to get at least one winter melon out. It's just like have a full column of winter melon. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to actually get more out. It's because of like how fast this is going. Like look at that, we're almost like already halfway there. Like that's, a, that's really stinking good. So I kind of doubt we're going to be getting any more winter melons out, but may, heck, maybe I'll get like one more out if I have the time to do so. so yes, yeah, so we're already like halfway there, that's really good. All right, nice, nice. Gosh, I love the melon pulse so much. It's such a cool plant. I really adore it. I really, really do. I would love to get two more melon pulse out, but those spots are being taken up by the umbrella leaf. To be fair, the umbrella leaf is going to be very, very useful. And I mean, I really got, I really gotten rid of like two plants uh, or like two uh, zombies that like tried to come out of nowhere. So I mean, that's good. That's definitely a good thing. Let's just see what happens with this, though. Okay, we're about to get onto the next flag, which is really good. Get some more pump. Oh, okay, never mind, because we have more zombies in the back. Fine, be like that then. <laughs> sure. Day 2000 Sun, not bad. I'll, I'll definitely take that. Come on, almost there, almost there. Just kill those three uh, uh, bucket heads and then we should be fine. One more. Come on. Come on, you got it. You guys got it. Not even a problem. Let's just do that, just to help him out. There we go, perfect. All right, final wave, let's do it. And then that'll be it for uh, survival, survival Roof and the regular survival levels. All right. Where is that blow, uh, balloon? Sorry. There's three of them? Uh, you're, you, you guys are jokes. Get out. <laughs> you guys are jokes. <laughs> the money. I'll get this going. There we go. Okay, that went very well. Not bad. Alright, well that's that. That's survival roof. We like the new survival, and that's survival pool hard. So is there anything else? No, that isn't. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. That was pretty fun. In this episode, in the next episode, sorry, we'll be taking care of survival hard, survival day hard. Well, sur starting survival hard with survival day hard. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but I think there's going to be like ten flags. If there is, I'm either way, I'm going to just doing it in one episode, not splitting up into two, just to make this go by faster. Yeah, I think that's that's just a better idea. So um yeah, that's that. 
if, if you like my content and you want to see more, go ahead and click the, click the subscribe button and ring the notif notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. I like this video and share with your friends or random stranger and comment down below your answer to today's question of the day. So I have for my question. Um, what's a good question actually? You know what? Winter melon or melon pole? That's even my question. So, comment your answers down below. Follow me on my I we I have social media down below in the description, including my Twitch. So check me out on those platforms. And uh, and yeah, with that being said, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Pop tarts out.